perspectives on income convergence. So now we want to go ahead and we want to look at the data. And we want to understand whether there is actually an income convergence or not. Right. So what we have done is we have gone ahead and we have seen, we have taken data from 1970 to 1994. Okay. And we have taken data from 1994 to 2017. Now, if there has to be an income convergence, so the poor countries should grow faster. Income ko converge karna hai. Jo bhi poor countries hai, they should be growing faster. And jo bhi rich countries hai, they should be going slower. So the poor countries should grow faster than the rich countries. And this means that there should be a downward sloping curve which should go ahead and which should show convergence. Right? So downward sloping curve should be plotted. Right? And what does this downward sloping curve says? That as your income increases, you will have lower growth rate. Right? Your income is less. When your income is less, you have higher growth rate. When your income is more, you have lower growth rate. Taki converge kare. So rich countries have growth rate come hoga. The countries which are poor, they will have higher growth rate and there will be convergence. So this downward sloping curve was only seen from the period 1994 to 2017. But in the period 1970 to 1994, it was seen that there was an upward sloping curve. There was an upward sloping curve. Right. And what this upward sloping curve was saying that basically when there was low income, the growth rate was low and those which had high income, unka growth rate bhi zyada tha. It means that there was divergence. Jo rich countries thi, they were growing faster or jo poor countries thi, they were growing slower. So there was a divergence that was there. Right. And this was a convergence that was there. Right. So we can go ahead and we can therefore say that only from 1994 to 2017, there was a convergence. Now let us talk about conditional convergence. So conditional convergence kya keta hai? And this is something that you will study as part of solo model more thoroughly. But conditional convergence ye bolta hai ki haan, jo bhi countries hai, wo ek hi income level ki taraf to jayengi. But they will go towards the same income level provided that they have the same parameters in the background. Unka population level same hai, ya population growth rate same hai, their savings rate is the same and other parameters are also same. So only when the uh, savings rate, population growth rate, labor force growth rate, productivity, jab ye sub same hoga. So countries which are similar in nature, only they will converge towards the same income. Importance of avoiding selection bias. There is also a need that we go ahead and we avoid selection bias. That means, kabhi kabhi jab ye convergence ya divergence check karna hota hai, we go ahead and we select a limited pool of countries and we say, yeah, dekho, ye sara countries jo shuru mein bohat poor the, wo to grow kar rahe hai, so there is a convergence. So that should not happen that we only select those countries which show convergence. It's like saying, ki agar mujhe dikhana hai ki ek school a classroom hai. and in this classroom few students have improved their uh, you know their result okay and now the principal comes to me and asks okay how are the students performing are the poor the students who were not performing well earlier are they performing well now so I sir unhi ko dikha dun, rather than showing that out of the entire pool of students who were not doing well ab kitna acha kar rahe hain unme se kitne log hai jo acha kar rahe hain rather than doing that i just pick up the students who are doing well now and i just show them dekho dekho ye to acha kar rahe hain are you understanding it so rather than so selection bias says that i should not only be picking up on countries jinhone improvement dikha diya I should be picking up on those countries also who did not show improvement, right? So we should not only pick up the poor countries that are now rich, uska koi fayda nahi hai, or only the OECD countries. We need to pick up at a bigger level and see what happened. Was there actual convergence or not? Right? And when we go ahead and when we add all developing countries, maane un countries ko bhi add kiya, jo grow nahi kar pai thi, then we saw that there was actually divergence from 1965 to 80. And 1980 to 2005, money almost from 1965 to 2005 divergence. Dekha. 
so therefore it is very important that which countries are selected राइट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ स्टडी हम कौन सी कंट्रीज को स्टार्ट कर रहे हैं किसके थ्रू हम वो पढ़ रहे हैं दैट ऑल्सो बिकम्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एब्सोल्यूट इनकम कन्वर्जेंस विद रैपिड ग्रोथ ऑफ चाइना एंड इंडिया सिंस नाइनटीन नाइनटी दीज कंट्रीज हैव बीन ऑन अ रोबस्ट ट्रेजेक्ट्री ऑफ रिलेटिव कंट्री कन्वर्जेंस तो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन इज इन इंडिया इन चाइना और क्योंकि इंडिया इन चाइना ने रैपिडली ग्रो किया इसलिए ऐसे लगा कि मेजोरिटी ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन जो है वो कंपेयर टू द अर्लियर पीरियड वॉज स्टार्टेड डूइंग टू स्टार्ट डूइंग बेटर उन्होंने पहले से बहुत अच्छा करना स्टार्ट कर दिया था सो नाइनटीन नाइनटी टू टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटीन द पर कैपिटा इनकम क्यूमुलेटिवली इंक्रीज बाय एवरेज ऑफ सिक्सटी एट परसेंट इन हाई इनकम कंट्रीज तो OECD countries में the per capita in income increased by 68 percent, but अगर हम सिर्फ China को देखें it increased by 412 percent, and if we look only at India it increased by 389 percent, right? So we see that India and China में the growth rate was very high as compared to OECD countries. But the issue is that the base of OECD country was very high. माने imagine करो suppose OECD income was thousand, so इसका 68 percent will be 680. राइट इसका सिक्सटी एट परसेंट विल बी सिक्स एटी बट लेट्स एज्यूम दैट इन चाइना द पर कैपिटा इनकम वाज हंड्रेड तो इसका अगर मैं फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व परसेंट भी कर दूं राइट देन दैट विल बी फोर हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेल्व सो यू सी दैट दिस न्यू बिकम्स वन सिक्स एट जीरो इफ इट ग्रोस बाय सिक्सटी और यहाँ पे न्यू हो जाएगा फाइव सो द गैप विल स्टिल बी देर राइट सो इवन दो द ग्रोथ इन इंडिया एंड चाइना वॉज मच हाइयर बट इनका जो बेस पॉइंट था द स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट दैट दे हैड दैट वाज स्लो राइट सो देर फोर इन द एब्सोल्यूट सेंस व्हेन वी कंपेयर देयर इनकम वाज स्टिल लोअर देन द ओईसीडी कंट्रीज दिस इज एग्जैक्टली व्हाट वी आर शोइंग सो बेस ऑफ सब सहारन अफ्रीका इज दिस मच इंडिया इज वेरी वेरी स्मॉल बेस चाइना का बेस इज वेरी स्मॉल बेस मींस अर्लियर इनकम एंड ओईसीडी इनकम का अर्लियर इनकम वाज वेरी वेरी हाई नाउ लुक दैट Even though growth rate in sub-Saharan Africa was also sixty-seven percent, and here we have sixty-eight percent, which means growth rate in sub-Saharan Africa and OECD country was similar. But if you really notice here, after growing also the income only increased to this much. But here after growing the income increased leaps and bounds. Because sixty-eight percent is ka nikal hai, whereas here sixty-seven percent is found out for the very small amount, right? So, although sub-Saharan Africa and high-income countries grew at the same rate, but the difference continued to widen. If you look at the gap now, the gap is much more as compared to the gap earlier, right? So, the, in absolute sense, if we compare income to income, the gap was higher. Same with India, same with China. Think of world as one country. In world as one country, a fall in inequality among individual who were poor. As convergence arises in inequality means divergence. So, if we consider the whole world as one, then we say that if inequality is falling, then the world is one country. If we say that if inequality is falling, then we say that if inequality is falling, if inequality is falling, then we say that if inequality is falling, if inequality is falling, then we say that if inequality is falling, if inequality is falling, then we say that if inequality is falling, if inequality is falling, then we say that if inequality is falling, माने देर वॉज डाइवर्जेंस देर वॉज डाइवर्जेंस राइट बट नाउ वी सी दैट आई टोल्ड यू मेजोरिटी ऑफ पॉपुलेशन इंडिया चाइना में रहती है नाउ वेन द इनकम ऑफ इंडिया एंड चाइना स्टार्टेड इंक्रीजिंग इट मीन्स दैट दे स्टार्टेड कवरिंग अप सम पार्ट ऑफ द गैप सो द इनइक्वालिटी स्टार्टेड डिक्रीजिंग सो देर वॉज कन्वर्जेंस इन दिस सेंस दैट इन इक्वालिटी बिटवीन पीपल वॉज फॉलोइंग सो देर हैज बीन वर्ल्ड as a one country convergence with average individual income in china and india and other developing growing substantially faster than us and other countries so comparatively humne bola that as the income of india and china is growing the inequality in the world starts falling kyunki maximum log india aur china mein rehte hain so when the maximum population is able to earn more it means that there will be convergence in this sense that inequality is falling inequality gir rahi hai It has also been noted that within country inequality increased in China, India, and US. So, अभी हमें वैसे convergence, divergence के लिए within country से relation नहीं है. Within country means that within India, which state is doing how much? Is there inequality or not? 
ऑल दो दैट इन इक्वालिटी इंक्रीज बट ओवरऑल अगर हम वर्ल्ड की बात करें सो द पुअर पीपल हैड स्टार्ट अर्निंग मोर एज कम्पेयर टू अर्लियर पीरियड क्योंकि ये पुअर पीपल इंडिया चाइना एंड डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज में रहते थे सो वेन दीज कंट्रीज स्टार्टेड ग्रोइंग दीज पुअर पीपल स्टार्टेड हैविंग मोर इनकम तो हमारा जो इन इक्वालिटी था एज अ वर्ल्ड एज अ होल दैट स्टार्टेड डिक्रीजिंग एंड दैट कुड बी वन वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट कन्वर्जेंस द फ्यूचर ऑफ कन्वर्जेंस The trend can be derailed by new technological divides. So, now imagine that if the developed country has further better technology, so divergence can be increased. Climate change impact in Africa policies that are self-defeating or serve narrow interest group. Sometimes, what will happen is that there can be some climatic issues in the developing countries which can hamper their growth, which can make their growth worse. development in reverse disaster of widespread armed con conflict this is something which has very recently we know ukraine war so whenever there are wars so it becomes development in reverse jo bhi aaj tak un countries mein development hua hota hai whatever has been the development in the countries that development starts getting reversed right and that is called as development in reverse disaster so due to some armed conflicts due to widespread conflicts yeah due to some kind of disasters like or some kind of suppose things like covid 19 they can also go ahead and disrupt the development of the economy right okay beta thank you